Eight former senators signed a statement supporting a proposal to include detained Senator Lila de Lima in Senate sessions through electronic communications. Former President Noynoy Aquino, former Senators Bobby Tanyada, Kit Tatad, Rene Sagisag, Serge Osmeña, Mar Rojas, Sunny Chilianes, and Bam Aquino says the Lima's detention is keeping her from performing her duties as a senator. Their joint statement reads, quote, We support any similar initiative to enable Senator De Lima to vote on key bills and resolutions tabled in the plenary sessions, to participate in important meetings and caucuses with her fellow senators, and to personally conduct public hearings of her committee within Camp Crame in Quezon City. In late July, Senate Minority Leader Franklin Jelon and Senator Panfilo Lacson filed a Senate resolution to allow De Lima to participate in plenary debates and committee hearings via teleconferencing, video conferencing, and similar methods. De Lima has been detained in Camp Crame since her arrest over drug charges in February 2017. A fierce critic of President Rodrigo Duterte, she says the charges are a form of political persecution. Continuing her functions as a legislator, De Lima asks Google Philippines to be more aggressive in taking down fake videos on YouTube that serve political agendas. She cites a study tracking digital disinformation in the 2019 Philippine midterm election, which claims YouTube played a huge role in disinformation in the Philippines, especially in the recent May 2019 elections. The study tags several YouTube channels like Tokhang TV and Duterte News Portal, which De Lima says target opposition leaders.